I celebrate your girl, cause it's your world. Living your life, sticking your pearls. Doing big things, writing your name on the wall of life. But race and shame. I celebrate your girl, cause it's your world. Living your life, sticking your pearls. Doing big things, writing your name on the wall of life. But race and shame. Let's swap a bottle, cause she making straight A's. Instead of dying to A's, she got from Lane Trade. Let's give her props, cause she's straight handling business. Do believe in God, heard her say she's a witness. I think it's a difference between um, gay men and transgendered. No, I don't, you know, I think we're all gay and I just think that, you know, they kind of go too far with the titties and, you know, want to get, you know, hips and, you know, changing their bodies to try and be... You know, um, I want it. Clearly, you're not. You know, I mean, if that's the case, then I'm just as much a woman as you. And I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? I was born a man. And I'm going to die a man, you know. Yo, yeah, what up, son? Just a big breeze in this thing, wipe a pimp down, you feel me? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? They asked me to get in this conversation about the folks. What I think about them bones? Damn good head. <laughs> The punks. Oh, you want to interview me about the punks? Okay, um, what I know about the punks? You talking about the punks that look like Katie Red and Big Frida? Are you talking about the punks that look like Sissy Noby? Oh, okay, them punks. Okay, so, what I know about the punks is... All the punks is the same, you know. Some of the punks like to wear dresses, and some of the punks like don't like to wear dresses. But a punk is a punk. I know I be liking their music, yeah, Frida. When I be watching RuPaul Drag Race too, yeah, ma'am, catch fire, you heard me? Yes, ma'am, the punks. I love me some punks. 
all of them. Yeah, baby. Yes, honey. Hmm. Yeah, so what up, son? You remember son asked me to get in this conversation. And he's fucking faggots, you know. Um Yeah, son, you know what I'm saying? Um Man, I ain't got nothing to say about these bones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about these bones, you feel me? And I'm just saying what they're doing is their business. And I mean, I don't want to go to hell, you know. Um, they say I can go to hell for being gay, but you know what I'm saying? At least, you know, I didn't change my body. And I think that that is like the most important thing that I don't change my body, you know. As long as I don't change my body, I'm fine, you know. So I just think that, you know, transgenders go too far when they go to changing their body, you know. That's like, that's like some devil shit, you know. Like, I don't understand that. I don't understand why the fuck they do all that, you know what I'm saying. But man, for real though, you know what I'm saying. You know, I ain't got nothing against them, you know what I'm saying. That's their business, you know. I mean, I ain't trying to judge nobody. Man, 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 man. Yeah, excuse me, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching this porn right now and I'm about to snort this line about it. <sighs> yeah, man, but what we was talking about again? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking about the boats. Yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, you know, I ain't trying to judge nobody. You know, I can't put nobody down or say nothing bad about nobody. You know what I'm saying? If they want to be punk, that's their business. You know, you feel me? Wipe up them down. You feel me? They got uptown punks, downtown punks. They got punks from back of town. Punks from round town. Punks, punks, punks. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's their business. You know what I'm saying? Wipe a film down, you feel me? But, um, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, but, but, but we talking about the Bible say, you know, the Bible say, you know, it's a sin to be a punk, you know what I'm saying? It's, that shit ain't right, you know? You know, the, the, the Lord don't agree with that shit, you know? I'm just telling you what the, what the Bible say, you know what I'm saying? That's how I had got my butt because baby the punk said show me where to go and get my work done. Baby and baby I had got pumped and honey. Yeah, but the punks, you know. We talk, you talking about the punks? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yes, yeah, son, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to say but these bones. You know what I'm saying? But the Bible say that shit ain't right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Bible say that shit ain't right, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to, supposed to do what the Lord say, you know what the Lord say? You know what I'm saying? Man shall not love another man, if you feel me? Um, you're still a man, you know what I'm saying? And any man, you know, that likes you is gay, you know? So it's all the same stuff, you know? I don't know what point you're trying to prove, you know, but... At the end of the day, you're a fruit basket, you know, just like the rest of us, you know, so I don't know. I just, you know, I never understood why they did all of that, you know, um, me personally, you know, as far as I might go is I might wear some little shorts or I might, you know, wear a pink, you know, a, a tight pink fitted shirt. But at the end of the day, I know what I am, you know, I a fucking man. <sighs> yeah, bro, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't right. You know, going to hell, you know. Wipe a pimp down. But, um, yeah, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I ever mess with a punk, you know what I'm saying? I might have let, you know, I might have let a punk pop me out while I was in jail, you know what I'm saying? But I don't get down like that on the street, you know what I'm saying? Strictly mess with the females, you feel me? Nah, you know what I'm saying? Um, then when I do mess with the bones, you know what I'm saying? They gotta look like a girl, you know what I'm saying? They gotta be female, you know, they gotta look female. Gotta have the teeth, 
you know, they had an ass to him bang, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even know, let him lay up there and let him give me some edge, you know what I'm saying? Wipe up him down, feel me? But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, wipe up him down. Yeah, you, you talking about the punks, right? <laughs> yeah, the punks. Oh, yeah. So, um, basically the punks be like, you know, um, they just be acting like punks. You know, I guess. Yeah, they be doing punk stuff. Oh, you talking about the punks? Yeah, you know. Uh, I did 10 years of staying in the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? Still love females, you know what I'm saying? Have I ever messed around with one of them? You know what I'm saying? If I ever did one, yeah, I did one. Of course I have, you know what I'm saying? Be, be the line of a I ain't never laid up there and messed with one of them, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The man gotta do what the man gotta do in any the situation. You know what I'm saying? Overstand me, you know. And I like having a dick. And I like using it, you know. Hmm. And I'm queer. And I'm here. I <laughs> get used to it. I promise you, my pretty. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Tens. Tens. Give me my tens. But yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't trying to judge no no you know nobody for what they do, you know what I'm saying? And do I feel like I'm homosexual because I done made, laid up there and messed with one? You know what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? I'm all man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If anybody step to me, you know what I'm saying? You'll find out what type of man I am, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't play around like that, you feel me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't judge nobody and ain't nobody gonna judge me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wipe up him down, you feel me? But anyway, what we was talking about... Oh yeah, we was talking about the punks. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against them punks. As long as don't no punk, you know what I'm saying? Disrespect me. They can suck all the dicks they want. You know what I'm saying? I've been up there... In the jail with him, you know what I'm saying? And I, I done seen them, you know, pop buku niggas off, you know what I'm saying? Let niggas run a train on them and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of them punks, they be freaky, you know, they be, they be into that nasty shit, you know, because deep down inside, you know, they men, you know. And, and you know what I'm saying? You born a man, you gonna die, man, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's on them, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't going to hell. Yeah, yeah, they be doing punk stuff. I don't know why they be acting like sissies and shit, punks. The punks. <laughs> but anyway, you know, you was born a boy, you gonna die a boy. Um, he's a punk. Yeah, I saw the news, you know, the other day, and um, the news was talking about the punks. You know, they was talking about how the punks say. You know, he had something with some silicone or something, you know. But, you know, crazy stuff always happening to them punks. You know, and I mean, I feel sorry for them because they're gay and stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of times their family don't be loving them, you know, and don't nobody be caring about them and stuff. Because <laughs> I am more... Woman than you. Overstand me, you feel me? Overstand me. You know, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you feel me? Laid up there and handle that, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't no punk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I might have messed with the, you know, mess with the game. A lot of times people don't be caring about them and stuff because, you know, because they punks, you know? Some of them punks be nasty, like they be, you know, like, they be liking to steal your man and, you know, they be trying to suck your man dick and stuff, you know, and they be trying to have your trade and stuff and, you know, they just punks, you know, they just nasty punks, you know, and, um, I don't really have nothing against them, you know what I'm saying, I don't know why they want to be like that, because, you know, you know, the Bible say that, you know, you're not supposed to be a punk. And, 100 man all the time, all day. All the time, dig long, strong, 
Be the pussy up. You feel me? Overstand me. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying what the Bible say, you know? Yeah, you know, the Bible said it ain't right, you know, being no punk and stuff, you know, want to get dicks in your booty and carrying yourself all crazy and wild and disrespecting yourself. You know, God don't, God don't like that, you know, you're not supposed to be like that, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just, you know, trifling, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, we done with this interview because I, I need to go and catch that beat again, okay? I thought we were running that beat back, baby. Because um, that's what I'm here for, you know. Thank you. You talking about the punks, huh? You talking about the punks? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going, you know. Wipe a pimp down, you feel me? But what they want to do, that's their business, you know. I ain't just, I ain't just nobody, bro, you feel me? Nah. Nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I never wife one of them niggas. Because I know the real deal, you know what I'm saying? They men, born with a dick, gon' die with a dick. Straight up on the real, fucking niggas. For real. Number motherfucking men. Men in dresses. You know what I'm saying? I got more, you know, I got more respect for the ones that be real about who they is, don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. Tell me what it's sitting for. Don't be trying to play no games and fool me. Because you know what I'm saying? I have to get that pistol on you. You know what I'm saying? But you keep it real with me. You know what I'm saying? I might let you hit the head. You feel me? But if you, you play a game with me, you know what I'm saying? I might have to, you know, lay your head on the uptown nigga pillow. And I don't, and I don't mean the way you won't fucking lay it on the uptown nigga pillow. You feel me? Because I don't rock like that. Man, we finished with this shit. Cause I got holes to fuck. You know about the punks? Oh, we we talking about the punks, right? It's amazing what an uninformed person can do in or outside of the community to affect everyone around them. Um, I, for a long time, thought that I was gay. Then for a while, I thought I was straight. And the interesting about the interesting thing about it is neither one has anything to do with my transgendered experience. I just think that this was something that I needed to experience. I can't speak to everyone else's transition, but I think that all forms of life need to be respected. And need to have a voice. And I believe that masculine energy and feminine energy live in all of us. And it is our heart that decides which energy will lead. It is not the genitalia because we're not ruled by our genitalia. We're ruled by our hearts and minds. So what our mind says we are is what we are. I think the most important thing is to know that whether you physically transition or not, you are what you feel you are. Again, if I am a man because of what's between my legs, that means that I am ruled and led by that. I'm not led by my penis. 
I'm not ruled by my penis. What guides me and what leads me is what is in my heart and mind. People who believe that you are what's between your legs typically are ruled by that organ. That's an interesting thing. But the crazy thing about it is I want to remove that. And I don't want to remove that for sex. I want, of course I would like to have sex with it. But that is not the reason why I want to remove it. I want to remove it because I don't want it there. Therefore, I don't want to be ruled by that. And I'm not going to be ruled by this new organ. Because I've conquered the old one. I've overcome my desire for sex. I still like to have it, but it doesn't rule me. It doesn't control me. People are not their organs. You are what's in your heart and mind. You are what your passion is. So don't, don't diminish your experience to your genitalia, your breast, your hips, your butt, your face. Don't diminish who you are to features to physical features. Don't diminish yourself like that. The transgender experience is so much more than a label or a physical feature. You are who you are because your heart tells you. I made this video because I want us to realize that the things that we internalize every day that just are natural are the things that motivate us to be so driven to be that girl who feels like, bitch, you serious? I got titties. I got hips. I'm a woman. How dare you? You know, don't put me in a category with you know, this, this punk, or, or, you know, that queen, or, you know, I look at all this work I did. You know, that's what makes us feel like we have, you know, we're like that. You know, but at the same time, one thing that we have to understand is, is that as trans women who decide to transition, we buy into society's ideas of what a woman is. A woman who wears a low haircut and flannel t-shirts and boxer shorts is just as much woman as a woman who wears stiletto heels and gets her hair done and her nails done. If she feels in her heart that she's a woman. So, a transgender person who believes that they're a woman, they could have a full beard and wear a dress and a scully. And they are just as much woman as a girl who went and got all the physical things done. If they believe they are. Who are we to judge? Who are we can speculate. But we cannot. Prove what's in that person's heart. We bought into. What society said a woman should be. If a woman has a double mastectomy. 
and does not get reconstruction. She is still just as much a woman as she was before she had the double mastectomy. When a woman goes through menopause and can no longer reproduce, she is just as much a woman as a woman who can reproduce. So let's be let's be real and let's be honest. You know, this is a realization that I have come to and what forced me to come to this realization was the recent tragedies with, you know, girls trying to transition and playing Russian roulette with their lives. With this silicone. We are buying into society's ideas of what it means to be a woman. I was a woman from the beginning. I chose to go the extra mile because I felt I needed to in order to be comfortable in society. But if society had not put this thought in my mind that I wasn't enough the way I was, would I have done all the things that I've done? I don't know. I don't know. I know for one, I wouldn't have got the silicone done. I don't know about the rest. I celebrate you, girl, cause it's your world. Living your life, sticking hey, your YouTube, pearls. Doing big girl. things, writing your name on the wall of life. But race and shame. I celebrate you, girl, cause it's your world. Living your life, seeking your pearls. Doing big things, writing your name on the wall of life. But race and shame. Let's swap a bottle cause she making straight A's. Instead of dying the A's she got from Lane Trade. Let's give her props cause she's straight handling business. Do believe in God, heard her say she's a witness.